just one will realize their dream and win the greatest spectacle in racing. The alignment looks very good, but much better than last year as they come onto the main straightaway. And they move up to speed now, coming down slowly, waiting for the green flag. And the quest for racing immortality is underway for the 85th time. The Indianapolis 500 is on, and Scott Sharp jumps into the lead. Robbie Gordon already, very well, Scott Sharp. He bobbled in turn one, and he's hitting the walls, he Scott Sharp. Scott Sharp got high coming off of turn one as Robbie Gordon was trying to go around the outside of Greg Ray. And uh, you can see a lot of the cars went back down to the uh, inside pit lane just to get around him. This is the 11th time an opening lap incident has occurred in the 500, most recently in 1998. Well, there is Jim Kelly and Jack Aroot, down to you. All that Scott Sharp said on the radio after hitting the wall and coming to rest, fellas, is I am so sorry, guys. I am so sorry. Well, we noticed him, Larry, coming out of turn number one that the car bobbled, and sure enough, the car went into the wall. Let's take a look at it. Okay, here you see them coming through. It's fun to think. It's cold tires got to him. Look at Gordon. He barely made him. The cold tires, he got down on that white line with cold tires and wiggled. Gordon did a terrific job to stay out of that accident, not make it worse than it was. Right there, he's on the outside. Oh, oh barely oh. missed. How close that was. And a lot of the drivers went up lane to avoid his. Here is his onboard camera. Oh, you can see he got down just too low going through that corner and lost the thing, went up and slapped it with the right side. Luffer outside of the uh, racetrack and didn't cross it to get in front of everybody else. Now here's a look from Ari Leyendijk's onboard camera. You can see Ari is taking it a little easy right here. Already, he's a, you know, he's trying to miss an accident at the very first corner. Luckily, they could get out of the throttle. They weren't going that fast, and that's why. Very fortunate Scott's car did not come back down across the racetrack into the path of those coming. Well, the caution is out for the first time here at Indianapolis. Pole sitter Scott Sharp has crashed. Here's Leslie Goodell. Scott Sharp, tell us what happened right there. I wish I totally knew. You know, I went down there, and obviously we all went a lot slower in there. I was way off the gas compared to where we were, where we were the other day in carburetion day. Uh, obviously, then the track was a lot warmer, and so I knew we had to be a bit more gentle in there, but just it snapped right on me. I thought I'd caught it, but I was really surprised, unfortunately. But uh, the Delphi guys, I feel so bad. I mean, I don't even know where to begin to start about how much work and effort's gone into this month and to throw it away like that. It's crazy. Sorry about your disappointing start. Jack, over to you. Leslie, we saw on the...